Before this video starts, if this guide helps you out in any way, shape, or form, like and subscribe. Also, comment down below if you have any questions. Let's begin. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys exactly if Zap GG is safe or a scam. Let's go ahead and begin right now. Watch the entire video because I have some shocking things to tell you. Now, starting right away, for those of you who don't know what Zap GG is, it's essentially a Roblox trading community. Now, how these works is they have bots in place and you essentially directly trade through Discord instead of directly trading on Roblox, okay? Directly trading on Roblox, you directly trade on Discord. Now, first of all, to get something, you know, correct, these guys have over 80,000 members on their Discord. Now, if you guys don't know anything about Discord, that is a lot of members, right? No matter how you look at it, 80,000 members is a lot of members for Discord. That's like every time you send a notification, they're getting like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 people to see it. Probably like 5,000 people per notification, you know? So these guys have some serious audience right here. Like some dedicated, hardcore audience. So... In terms of the first point, it is very popular. You know what I'm saying? But here is where it gets questionable, okay? And I actually know some stories on exit scam uh, Discord servers, which I'm going to tell you later on on the video, so continue watching. But to investigate right here, right, if we go over to, for example, Reddit, you know, Reddit is very trustworthy because you could kind of discuss with other users their experiences now i'm not gonna lie reddit users i wouldn't trust them on everything 90 percent of the reddit uh comments and the reddit people they usually just try to uh exaggerate things and try to open up debates with stupid by saying stupid things <laughs> or things they don't actually believe in you know that, that's just how reddit works or how twitter works people just stand up uh, i guess wake up like, I want a lot of replies. Let me type something stupid. And that's just how, how life works. People just type stupid things. And it gets people to reply. It triggers people. And that's how these online platforms work. So, you could see right here, Zap.gg's uh, on Reddit. And people are just talking about trading and all this. So, there's no bots in the chat, which is good. They, they, they are very popular very good especially in the blocks roots community damn they're actually quite popular so anyway when you look at is zap legit or not nah, people saying it's legit other people saying i just want pets trade me uh so you could see people are of course not only roblox.com and essentially people are saying it's fully legit this guy said two months ago but if we go to another discussion is zap uh, uh, gg safe and they're saying safe as in it's not malware you could use it it breaks drivers though so you have to be careful and then these people saying it's totally safe some people saying it's not safe it's just a bunch of mixed opinions. And yeah, so there's a whole bunch of mixed opinions. That guy's swearing, so that's a bad sign. Now let me give you my overall thoughts. Now guys, I've seen many times where trading Discord servers, yeah, specifically trading Discord servers or buying and selling limiteds, for example. You guys know Roleplace, right? There used to be like sites like Roleplace and Adorite where you buy cheap limiteds. And essentially what they did, they operated off of Discord. And one time, the developer, once it got popular, they exit scammed. They took all the limiteds and they ran off. Why? You might ask why. Why would they do that? Why would they exit scam? Simple. On Discord... There isn't much ways to make money, right? Because when you look at these things, guys, you always have to look at it in the point of view of money. 
because no one works for free everyone works for money if we're being honest like they're not passionate about that passionate to do it for free no one is right they're they're looking for one way or the other they're looking for an incentive most cases they're looking for an incentive right now if you look at zap gg and other discord servers that operate roblox trading like adopt me trading and all these other trading and trading stuff now if you if you really look at how these servers operate right how they make money there isn't actually anything they're making money off of right they sell ads some of them sell shout outs some of them grow their social media but if you really look at it into details they're not really making anything off these servers right i mean the time is costing them to run the servers like there's no way that there's any incentive for running these servers unless you want to get a popular server get everyone to go ahead and have all their things linked to it and then do an exit scam and run off with everyone's items and sell it on ebay unless you're planning on doing that there is no other way to make money from this okay so if you're looking at it from a logical point of view right it's super illogical to make a a server like this to run it to moderate it to to create bots for it to market it there's no way they're not doing this for an incentive i mean you've heard of it tens of thousands of people have heard of it why would they do this for free market it build it sponsor youtubers to promote it i mean one way or the other these people have an incentive whether they're planning on using the server to promote social media videos or advertisement they're selling advertisements on the server or their sh shout outs they're shouting out other servers maybe they i don't know what they're doing right i don't know exactly what their goal is from it like i don't know how it all works but one way or the other they have to make money right they have to make money and to the best of my knowledge, as of right now, I mean, they have 80,000 follower people in their server. So, I can't be generating that much. So, so most likely, they have some sort of exit scam one way or the other in their mind. Even if they don't intend to right now, if their server fails to make whatever they wished, then that will be their last option to run an exit scam. They're like, okay... We'll try to be the good guys. We'll try to just sell shout house. But if that doesn't bring enough money, then that's going to be our final option. They'll always be in the back of their mind. They'll always want to do something like that. Okay, that's just a basic human.